Hey everybody, Edo here, and this is Welcome to the Dungeon by Yell Games and uh, Masato Uesugi. I may have pronounced that wrong. Um, and I was actually, I picked up Sapien, which I'm going to be reviewing, and this was sort of a cheap toss-in um, when I purchased it, and I think it's meant to be the small little game. And first and foremost, I mean, the art in this game is like stellar. I mean, it's uh, Paul Mafayun. Mafayun, I don't know how to pronounce your last name, Paul. But your art is like, I mean, I don't, it's outrageous. It's like so good, you should go look it up on, on the web and just look at it. Um, and it's a small game, but the components are like thick punch board um, with UV on them. I mean, it's like... It's crazy good looking. It's crazy. It's one of the like best little, uh, the art of this game is outstanding. The game is fun. The game is something that I think is going to appeal to some people a lot and other people not so much. Um, I certainly enjoy it. Uh, it's a nice in-betweener, um, but it's really very, very light. Basically what's going on is you're going into this dungeon and um, it's a a game where you, you start by selecting one of the four uh, characters, the Barbarian, the Rogue, um, the Mage, and the Warrior. They all have a set of items associated specifically with them. There are a couple overlapping items like potions and things like that, but generally speaking, um, they're unique to the character. They're evocative of the class. They're just, you know, very well, very well thought through and done. And uh, all players are um, going, it's two to four, all players are going in as the same character. And they, all the items are laid out. And what you're going to be doing is essentially um, seeing who is chicken first. So what happens is you draw a card and the player looks at the card. Now, uh, the different uh, creatures have uh, damage they do. Um, you uh, Some creatures are uh, like... Uh, for example, the, um, what is this, the, I guess it's a skeleton, um, are afraid of certain items like the torch. So if you have the torch, this is an instant kill. Otherwise, you're adding up these points to see if they do more damage than your character, which is his hit points, and then like the added other items he's carrying, or she's carrying in that matter. And, um, but so you, you draw the card and you say, cool, I'm going to put, put it uh, into the dungeon. The next place the player goes, they draw it and they say, cool putting it into the dungeon. Now, each player has different information if there's three or four players, right? More hidden information. At some point, you're making this evaluation on whether or not you think the character can make it. And essentially, you then get to do things where you draw a card and maybe get something really beefy. And boy, I want you to see how great that art looks. And you might say, well, I'm not gonna put this into the deck, or maybe it's not beefy, maybe it's simple. You don't put it in the dungeon, but instead you blow up an item. So you have a bunch of people who have parts of the information of the story, and as you go, eventually people start thinking they might not succeed. If this dungeon is just full of people and only have two items left, chances are he's not going to win. So at that point, people start passing. And the last person, you know, the person who doesn't pass, essentially, is forced or has the opportunity to go into the dungeon. If they succeed, they get a victory point. Woo! If they don't, they get hit. Not hit, hit, dead. Um, that's it. It's simple. It's fast. You play through the different classes. Um, it's fun. Again, I, y y the playing the chicken thing, it's... It, Really super simple, it's fast, but oh my god, the production value of this game is insane. And just so cool. It makes it fun, it adds to it. So, you know, a good game with a great presentation makes for a lot of fun and easy to pull out at you know, gatherings while you wait. So, um, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. More importantly, play some great games. Thanks. Bye.